it's Brandy. So today's movie review is gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna look a little bit different because this movie was definitely a unique movie. All right, I'm going to review the 2020 action thriller movie called Tenet. Okay, so for this movie, I kinda wanna preface it with just this. The director was Christopher Nolan, and I wrote down a list of his movies um, that I actually didn't know that he directed. Great movies. Um, the Dark Knight, the, Doc the Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar, and then of course, Inception. I knew, I knew Inception was the movie uh, that he directed, but I didn't know The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. He has several other movies that you should check out that are actually really good. For the rating, it is rated PG-13, um, so just viewer discretion. Uh, there is a lot of action, um, some violence, some language, so definitely mature audience for that. Okay, so the actors. The two main actors are phenomenal A-list actors. Uh, John David Washington, who is Denzel Washington's son. I love Denzel Washington, great actor. His son, also a phenomenal, great actor. And then uh, Robert Pattinson, he was from the Twilight uh, movies as well. Great actors. Um, Pattinson has not done anything in a while, so I was really excited. Okay, so those are the actors. All right, so for the summary, I'm gonna do a little bit different today and I'm not really gonna give a summary. Not really at all. Um, and the reason for that is, well, it was kind of hard to think of a summary because, all right, so let's kind of get into the little bit of like the meat of the movie. This movie, I'm trying to think how to explain it. Okay, if you've seen Inception, you know that Christopher Nolan, um, his kind of movies are very kind of twisted, confusing, but I figured out Inception. You know, let's just say there's either two, you're gonna be two types, you're gonna be one of two different types of people by the end of the movie. A, first type of person, your brain is gonna hurt so bad from trying to figure and think about the whole movie and figure out the movie, or B, the second type of person, you're gonna lose, like leave the movie theater and you're gonna be like, what the heck just happened? So after this movie, I was in the ladies room and I was like talking to ladies in the bathroom and I'm like, what happened? I was a little bit of both, A person and B person on this. Um, you know, for this movie, the action, the violence was great, the actors were great, um, but it was just all over the place with the plot. Um, you know, it, it was just all over the place. You know, kind of a quick summary. Um, the two main actors are trying to save the whole world from going into a World War III. Think about Inception, but then like kind of on steroids of like going to the future, coming back from time. And I don't even know. It was, it was very kind of just all over the place. Again, it had very good intention, you know, with the plot because, you know, the action and everything uh thriller you know was really good but like i said the plot was just really confusing i wish they kind of did a lot better job summing it up and and not just being all over the place so i would rate this movie a six out of ten i gave it a little bit higher rating just because like i said the actors it had good intentionality of the the plot um but it just was confusing uh yeah if you see this movie which you know i would recommend supporting these actors and the director and just seeing the movie if you see the movie which like i said i hope you support them anyway um let me know with your comments what did you think uh were you the type a person where your brain wouldn't explode by the end of the movie or are you just really confused um yeah i would love for you to comment below i would also love for you to subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, keep watching those movies and I will see y'all on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, y'all.